Welcome sa zipline.com. Uh, in this video, itutuloy natin ang ating series on uh, uh, division of fractions. No? And uh, sa previous video, ang pinag-aralan natin is paano ba mag-divide ng, ng uh, proper improper fractions. Tapos, yun yung mga may kasamang whole numbers. No? For example, a whole number divided by a fraction or the other way around. No? Now, uh, dito sa video na to, ang pag-aaral naman natin ay kung paano ba uh, mag-divide ng uh, mixed numbers, no? Tsaka yung mga pinag-aaralan na rin natin. Mixed numbers, improper fractions, fractions, and whole numbers. So, ano na yan? naka na sila, halo, halo na. So, number one, we have two and one half divided by four. So, both sa, sa division tsaka sa multiplication, dapat wala tayong uh, ano, no? wala tayong mixed number or mixed fraction. So, una muna natin gagawin is to uh, convert this mixed fraction to improper fraction. So, paano nga natin ginagawa yan? 2 and 1 half equals, syempre yung uh, equivalent improper fraction yan, magiging uh, 2 rin yung kanyang denominator. No? So, whatever the denominator here, ganun din yung denominator dito. So, 2 and 1 half, mag-multiply tayo, no? So, that's 2 times 2, and then whatever the result, ipa-plus 1 natin. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. Yan yung ating numerator. No? Okay, so wala na tayong problema. Meron na tayong uh, improper fraction, tapos divided by 4. Sabi natin, uh, pag nag-divide tayo ng number, dapat minimultiply natin siya sa It's the same as multiplying with its reciprocal, no? Or by its reciprocal. So, 5 over 2 times, mag magpapalit to ng multiplication. And then, ito, kukunin natin yung reciprocal nito, which is 1 fourth, no? So, 5 halves times 1 fourth. Multiplication na siya ng dalawang uh, fractions. Wala na tayong wala na tayong ano, mixed fraction. So, multiply na natin siya diretso. Yung multiply the numerator, magiging 5. 5 times 1 is 5. And then, multiply the denominator. 2 times 4 equals 8. So, 5 8 na yung ating uh, sagot. No? 5 over 8 or 5 8 with a th. No? Next, we have uh, what about 7 and 5? over 6 divided by 11 over 6. So, ganun pa rin, no? We have to uh, convert this to improper fraction. So, 7 and 5 over 6 equals something over 6. No? Ang something na yan, the numerator, 6 times 4, sorry, 6 times, 6 times 7, that's 42 plus 5, 47. That's 47 over 6. So this is 47 over 6. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of this. Yung reciprocal nito, pag binaliktad mo, no? pag, pag fraction siya, babalik na rin lang natin, magiging uh, 6 over 11. Okay? So, naalala nyo yung pinag-aralan natin sa cancellation, no? Pag may, magkapareho tayo ng number, sa itaas yung sa isa, sa ibaba yung isa, we can divide those numbers by their greatest common divisor, no? Yung pinakamalaki. Anong pinakamalaking pwede natin i-divide both sa number na yan? ba 6? 6 divided by 6 is 1, and then 6 divided by 6 is also 1. So, whatever you divide here, you also divide here. No? Para tayo nagre-reduce to lowest terms, no? So, wala na tayong problema. Wala na tayong pwede i-cancel. 47 times 1 is 47. And 1 times 11 is 11. Naka-improper tayo. Usually, sa sagot natin, ginagawa natin siyang mixed fraction. No? Uh, Paulit-ulit ko sinasabi ito. No? Pero, sa, sa pag nag-college kayo, usually okay na to Itong ganitong form. No? Pero sa elementary yata, sa sa high school, most of the time, ang ino-honor na answer, although tama naman to ay uh, mixed fraction. So, paano gagawin mixed fraction yan? Improper to mixed fraction. 47 divided by 11. That's 4. 44. 
47 minus 44 is 3. So 4 and, ito yung whole number natin. Ito yung ating numerator, yung remainder. Tapos yung denominator natin, yung divisor. So 4 and 3 over 11. Okay? Next, we have... Uh, Number 3, we have 3 and 1 fourth divided by 6 and 1 half. Okay? So again, lahat dapat naka-improper. No? So magiging uh, 3 and 1 fourth equals something over 4. No? And that something is the product of 3 and 4 added to 1. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. No? 13 over 4. So this is equal to 13 over 4. Tapos, ang 6 and 1 half, that is equal to something over 2. So 2 times 6, that's 12 times 1, 13, or 13 also. So divided by 13 over So, ang 13 over 2 na yan, uh, pwede natin yan uh, kunin yung reciprocal and then instead of division, we multiply, no? So, 13 over 4 times 2 over 13. So, again, parehong 13, pwede natin i-cancel. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by 13. So, 13 divided by 13 is 1. And then, 13 divided by 13 is 1. Usually, pag magkaparehong number yan, pwede nyo i-cancel, tas gawin yung 1, no? So here, yung 2 and 4 pwede pa rin, di ba? Anong pwede natin i-divide sa 2? Tsaka sa 4. Greatest common divisor niya or greatest common factor. That's 2, di ba? So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, so natira sa taas na 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And then 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so kung hindi malinaw sa inyo itong cancellation, paano siya nangyayari? Pwede nyo panoorin yung ano natin, no? yung may, may ano tayo, may series tayo ng cancellation. So, pwede nyo uh, panoorin yan. And of course, sa multiplication, multiplication of fractions, yung series before this, ay uh, pinag-aralan din natin yung cancellation. Hanapin yung multiplication na shortcut. No? I think that's MF4 tsaka MF5. Kung meron ng MF5. No? MF4, MF3. No? So, hanapin nyo na lang no? yung may nakalagay na shortcut doon sa YouTube file natin. Okay, so I think that's it. Yung ating uh, division of uh, fractions, no? ang pinaka-importante lang naman is you get the reciprocal of your uh, divisor and then you instead of dividing, you multiply. You multiply no? So yung uh, yun ang ating pinaka-rule. No? Pinaka-general rule. Okay, so I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Gusto ko yung bitahan sa sipnayan.com. Nandiyan yung ating lista ng mga videos. And of course, kung gusto nyo mag-subscribe sa ating channel, uh, just uh, click the the subscribe button below. Dapat nakalagin kayo sa Google. No? So, pag, para pag nag-subscribe kayo ay uh, every time na mag-post tayo ng bagong video ay uh, makakapag or may inform kayo. No? Okay, so I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.